boaters. This is Brian from the Canvas Factory from beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm going to show you another set of sunshades. We did a forward as well as an aft sunshade. This is a used boat, but it's a it's a beautiful 325 Everglades 2015. And I'm going to go over how I can build you a sunshade no matter where you're at. You could be in New York, New Jersey, Delaware. I'm sending these sail shades all over the country now. And I'm going to show you just a few things that you need to do for me, for me to be able to give you a sunshade in another state. Now, just to show you, you get a custom bag with your sail shade. This is for the aft sail shade. This is for the bow. The bow is, is a little bit larger. Um, we did a four post sunshade on the bow of this 325. Here's your two custom bags. I'm going to set this up now. And I'm going to do it slow. I'm not going to try and do it fast because I'm going to try and tell you a few things. But this forward sunshade is a four poster. So you take the poles. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to get a, a sunshade in another state, what you have to do for me is you measure from your hard top to the deck. They're usually right around 83 inches. You want to pitch this sunshade down approximately three inches. So if this is 83, we want the front to be around 80. So you can take you don't have to have a nice pole like that. You can use um, any kind of pole. You can use a, a boat hook. Stick it in the rod holder. And then you have to, you know, do your math if there's a step up and it's off of a gunnel. But you want to figure out when this is 80 inches tall. And then you pull it out. And you measure that. And then I'll send you either two poles or if you're doing a four pole sunshade, I'll send you four poles in a custom padded bag, as well as the four poles in the custom padded bag, I will send you the mounting hardware. All it is, is two small screws. You drill two eighth inch holes in the boat, you countersink the gel coat so that you don't crack it, then you put a little bit of silicone in each hole zoom zoom easy as that you want to place them right on the corners of the hard top and then after you've gotten your poles it's it's a secret that i'm not going to share on the internet with everybody on how to measure these things but if you go through this process after you've received your poles i'll teach you how to take the measurements so that i can build your sail shade so let's let's get on with setting this one up. My son Fisher is going to time me now. I'm going to set this thing up, and this is a four post. It obviously will take a little longer to set up than a two post, but I want to I'm going to show you how easy and fast these things go up. So when Fisher's ready, I'm going to start. I'm, I'm going to start right here with taking the poles out of the bag, and then I'm going to take the canvas out of the bag. And we're going to set this thing up. You good? Okay. Here we go. Take the pole out, stick it in the rod holder. Take two more poles out. Now, we stick those in the rod holders. Okay, you can see that takes no time at all. They're all the same length, so you don't have to figure out where they go. Then you just take your, uh, your sail shade, you dump it out. I didn't set this up at the same time, so I got to figure out. Okay, now I'm going to take this mount, real easy to do. You see that mount? Just snaps in. Then I'm going to go to the other side of the boat. Pull it over, snap it in, just like that. Now I'm going to go forward. And I'm going to 
stick the rope through this pulley, through the clam cleat, and I pull that baby tight. And I take this side. Go through the pulley. Through the can cleat. And I'm going to pull this one tight. Nice and tight. Then I, now this is a this is a four post sunshade, so you can see the wing here, how much extra you're getting. But besides that, you could do this with two posts because you can see how nice it is. But you see how it's it's not super tight because this sail shade is um, 13 feet long. So on a 13 footer, I highly recommend that you do a four poster. Okay, I pull that tight. Come over to the last pulley. And I hope Fisher's ready to show you the time. Okay, what do we got, Fisher? Three minutes to set it up, and I was taking the time to show it to you. So I, I could, you know, I could do it in less. But look at it now. You, 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 you see the difference between how tight it is now that it has all four posts attached? Look at that. It's, it's super nice. And then you take the rope and you wrap it around several times and then just take the rope and stick it through itself. And that looks nice and neat. So you just go around and do that to, to every pole. And it gives you a nice, neat nautical look. And if it wants to slide down, you can go on top of the cam cleat too. Because sometimes when the line is wet, it wants to slide down this smooth stainless steel pole. So if you put it on top of the cam cleat, it might stay a little better. Because you're out there bouncing around in the waves. See, that way it can't slide down. Okay, look at that. Nice and tight. 13 feet of shade, and it's 102 inches wide in the center here. Okay, now I'm going to set the back one up. Okay, here goes a timed video of setting up the, the aft sunshade. It's only two posts, so it should go a little quicker. Stick the two poles in the rod holders. Come up here. Click. Come up to this side. Go around the rod holders. Click. through the cam plate, pull it tight, come to the other side, through the pulley, through the cam plate. You ready, Fisher? What's the time? Fifty seconds to set up the two post aft top. Look at this. I'm six foot three. Look, look at the headroom. There's a little step up here, but it doesn't affect you. You just step right out. All these rod holders will be after the sunshade. 
So check it out. 50 seconds to set this up. I'm ready. Okay, my son Fisher's gonna time me taking this baby down now. Just so you can you can run with this thing, but if you wanted to run full blast, I'm gonna show you just how fast you could take it down. So you could go 45 miles an hour. This is a push button mount out. Push button mount out. What's the time so far, Fisher? It's at 25 seconds. 25 seconds to take it down. And I'm a firm believer of putting it in its bag, okay? Keep it clean. It's going to look so nice when you put it up. What's the time now, Fisher? 40 seconds. 40 seconds to take this baby down and bag it, okay? Now, if you want to run 10 miles to another spot, you can leave these poles where they're at. But if you're done for the day, you just slide them in their custom padded bags. And now these beautiful stainless steel poles will stay nice. All right, Fisher, what's the time now? Minute and 15. Minute and 15 seconds to stow it totally away. And you've seen the fit. If you want one, I can teach you how to give me the measurements and we can build it no matter where you are. So give us a call. All right, let's go. All right, Fisher, starting the clock. We're gonna take down this four poster and see how long it takes. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Now we just jump up on the gunnel, push button, push the button, pull it out. Push the button, pull it out. What's the time, Fisher? We have 40 seconds. 40 seconds to take down the four poster, but we're not done. We got to bag this bait. This one's a little bigger. Remember, it's 13 feet long. Okay, it's in the bag. What's the time, Fisher? That's a minute 10. Minute and 10 seconds to bag it. And like I said before, you can run with these forward poles where they're at. But you're done for the day. We're going to time the whole thing. Pole number three. And now the last pole. Okay, that's it. What do we got, Fisher? That was two minutes and 15 seconds. Two minutes. 
and 15 seconds. And that was by yourself? Yep. So give us a call. We'll build you a beautiful sunshade no matter where your boat is. The Canvas Factory is located in Pompano Beach, Florida. We have been in business since 1985 and we take pride in our quality custom work. For more pictures, you can visit our website, BoatCanvasFactory.com. The link will also be in the description. We specialize in T-tops, Biminis, full boat covers, engine covers, sunshades for both the forward and aft of your boat, windshield back covers, bolsters and cushions, helm seat covers, consoles slash instrument covers, enclosures of all sizes including acrylic panels as well as isinglass panels that you can roll up. We also do repairs as well as waterproof your old canvas if the waterproofing has worn out, as well as much, much more. For example, custom barbecue covers, carpet, as well as carpet runners. Give us a call and let us manufacture you an effective and attractive custom work of art for your boat. You can find further contact information in the description.